are the Philippines with its lush lands, cool streams, calm lakes, blue seas, and warm sun. One of the great Filipino masters who captured the beauty of the Philippines was Fernando Amorsolo. Who is Fernando Amorsolo? My name is Michael. Today we will glimpse at the life and works of Fernando Amorsolo. Fernando Amorsolo E. Cueto was one of the most important artists in the history of painting in the Philippines. Amorsolo was a portraitist and painter of rural Philippine landscape. He is well known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. Amorsolo was born on May 30, 1892 in Paco, Manila. At the age of 13, Amorsolo became an apprentice to Fabian de la Rosa, who would eventually become the advocate and guide to Amorsolo's painting career. During this time, Amorsolo's mother embroidered to earn money, while Amorsolo helped by selling watercolor postcards to a local bookstore for 10 centavos each. Amor Solo's first success as a painter came in 1908 when his painting Leyendo el Periódico took second place at the Bazar Escolta a contest organized by the Asociación Internacional de Artistas. Between 1909 and 1914, he enrolled at the art school of the Liceo de Manila. After graduating from the Liceo, he entered the University of the Philippines School of Fine Arts where De La Rosa worked at that time. Amor Solo's most notable work as a student at the Liceo was his painting of a young man and a young woman in a garden, which won him the first prize in the art school exhibition during his graduation year. To make money during school, Amor Solo joined competition and did illustration for various Philippine publications, including Severino Reyes' first novel in the Tagalog language, Parusa ng Diyos, Punishment of God, Inigo Ed Regalado's Madaling Ara, or Dawn. Amorsolo is best known for his illuminated landscapes, which often portrayed traditional Filipino customs, culture, fiestas, and occupations. His pastoral works presented an imagined sense of nationhood in counterpoint to American colonial rule, and were important to the formation of Filipino national identity. He was educated in the classical tradition and aimed to achieve his Philippine version of Greek idea for the human form. In his painting of a Filipino woman, Amorsolo rejected Western ideals of beauty in favor of Filipino ideals and was fond of basing the basis of his subjects on members of his family. 
The woman I paint should have a round face, not an oval type often presented to us in newspapers and magazines and illustrations. The eyes should be exceptionally lovely, not the dreamy sleepy type that characterize the Mongolian. Nose should be a blunt form but firm and strongly marked. So the ideal Filipino beauty should not necessarily be white complexion nor the dark brown color of a typical Malay, but of the clear skin of fresh color type which we often witness when we meet a blushing girl. Amor Solo was a prolific sketch artist, often drawing sketches at his home at Veneta Park and in the countryside. He drew the people he saw around him, from farmers to city dwellers, coping with the Japanese occupation. His figures were not completely finished but were mere suggestions of the image. Amor Solo also painted a series of historical paintings on pre-colonial and Spanish colonization events. Amor Solo's making of the Philippine flag in particular was widely reproduced. This the first baptism in the Philippines required numerous detailed sketches and colored studies of its elements. These diverse elements were meticulously and carefully set by the artist before being transferred to the final canvas. For his pre-colonial and 16th century depiction of the Philippines, detail from Fernando Marsolos. 1945, the tense of a Filipino woman's honor, which is representative of Amarsolo's World War II era paintings. Here, a Filipino man defends a woman who is either his wife or daughter from being raped by an unseen Japanese soldier. Note the Japanese military cap at the man's foot. After the onset of World War II, Amor Sola's typical pastoral scenes were replaced by the depiction of a war-torn nation. During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines during World War II, Amor Solo spent his days at his home near the Japanese garrison where he sketched war scenes from the house's windows or rooftops. During the war, he documented the destructions of many landmarks in Manila and the Thames tragedy and death experienced by Filipino people, with the subjects including women mourning their dead husbands, files of people with pushcarts and makeshift bags leaving a dark, burning city tinged with red from fire and blood. Amorsolo died of heart failure at the age of 79 on April 24, 1972. Four days after his death, Amor Solo was honored as the first national artist in painting at the cultural center of the Philippines by then President Ferdinand. The volume of paintings, sketches, and studies of our solo is believed to have reached more than 10,000 pieces. So 
what do you think? Are you the next Fernando Marsolo? Hit us a like and subscribe for more of Talks and Strokes.